slander s. Jeremy Vine show exploded as furiously bashing Meghan and Harry over suspect $55,000 scandal. Jeremy Vine panelists erupted in a furious row over Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's charity efforts since quitting the royal family. The row came after it was claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spent more money on legal fees for their charities than they raised in 2020. Vine panelist Andrew Pierce hit out at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for allegedly focusing their efforts on funding their life away from the royal family. But fellow panelist Shea Graywell slammed his comments as slanderous as she defended the couple. Mr. Pierce said, The reason I mentioned they're not at their home with nine bathrooms is that they're more intent on making money for themselves to fund their fabulous multi millionaire lifestyle. That's what's going on, they've done TV commercials, they're doing TV programs. They're not doing anything with their charity because they're concentrating on making money for themselves, that's up to them. That's their priority. So they thought about that when they launched that charity in such a blaze of publicity. Ms. Graywell hit back, yeah, I would like an opportunity to speak rather than being shouted at. That's quite slanderous what you're saying. She added, if you want to accuse a charity of, you know, taking money or using it for personal gain, then do that. But this is not the case. Meanwhile, yesterday, Royal expert Duncan Larkham told OK. That it will be important that the Sussexes bounce back and ensure that the Archul charity is well respected. If they really want to prove their authenticity as a power couple doing good then the focus needs to be more, on, raising money for charity rather than the Sussex family coffers, he said. Mr. Larkham continued, these figures demonstrate that there is a hell of a lot of work to do to turn this tiny foundation they've set up into a proper well-supported and established charity. What we'll see this year is Harry and Meghan really throwing their heart and soul into achieving what they want to achieve with Archul because now that the figures for 2020 are in the public domain, a very close eye will be kept on how successful they are this year in promoting and raising the coffers of Archul. He pointed out that over the same period of time, Harry and Meghan have been making tens of millions of pounds privately. This puts pressure on them, he said. It's the kind of publicity that they certainly would not want and the other thing is, if you were to publish similar figures for Harry and Meghan's private income for the same period, we were lead to believe it is in the tens of millions of pounds. The Daily Mail claimed in its report, the Sussex's U.S. charity Archul told the IRS in December that it raised less than $50,000 in 2020, only opening a bank account last January. And documents for their UK charity Sussex Royal, which changed its name to MWX Foundation in 2020 and is currently being dissolved, show that between June 2020 and June 2021 spent more than $55,000 on legal fees including attorney's costs for wrapping up the non-profit. In the US, charities that present accounts with less than $50,000 paid in, only need to file basic details which was the case for the Sussexes. The couple launched Sussex Royal in the UK in July 2019 after splitting from the joint foundation they shared with Prince William and Kate Middleton, after rumours of a family feud. A spokesperson for the couple said that while Archul was established in 2020 there was no financial activity during that year, and the documents required for 2021 would be filed at the relevant time. The charity is separate from the couple's companies Archul Audio and Archul Productions. The spokesperson added that when MWX Foundation was closed down all money was transferred to Harry's non-profit sustainable travel company Travelist in line with governing documents. The transfer had been closely reviewed by the Charity Commission, which found no breaches of UK charity law, which found no breaches.